welcome back. Today I'm going to do a quickie, just a little one. Um, I'm going to do a swipe, and I'm going to try a swipe with a paintbrush. Um, I saw it in my cupboard, and I thought, you know what? That might make an interesting swipe. So we'll see. It may do nothing. It may do something cool. It may be horrible. But we're going to find out either way. So, and I have some really pretty colors, so kind of hope it's not horrible. Um, I'm using, this is Deco Art Metallics Teal, and they're all metallics today. Uh, Aquamarine, this is Folk Art, and Folk Art Metallic Ice Blue. And then I'm going to, for my swiping color, I have, can't see that, this is Nova Colors Iridescent Pearl Red, and it's a gorgeous see if I can get um, a close-up of it on the lid. It is so pretty. Doop -de -doop. It's just a kind of an opaly, pearly color with just a hint of red in it. And I thought it would be really pretty to swipe with, um, especially since I'm using all metallics. So we will see. Um, I am out of Floetrol, so I have everything mixed with Nova Color um, 235 medium. My plan was to do one or two parts paint to one part medium, but I mixed such tiny little amounts, even though I used my scale, I wasn't slow enough at pouring. So it's somewhere between um, two thirds paint to one third pouring medium and half and half, somewhere in there. Um, plus the fact that my scale doesn't do, it only does like tenths of ounces and to be pretty exact with this amount of paint, I probably need, you know, two zeros after the decimal. So, um, you know, but I did it as good as I, as well as I could. So right now I just have the paint, the Nova Color and water until I got to the consistency I wanted. Um, and I'm going to add some silicone. I used, I have this, uh, you can't see the can anymore. I got this at Lowe's. It's blaster silicone. Um, and I just have it, I sprayed it into a little cup. I'm going to use my, um, pipette because I have such a tiny little amount of paint. I think I'm going to do one to two drops in every color. Um, it's not going to need much. I'm just going to put one in the blue, two in the um, what's that one called? The teal. And then I'll probably do two in the aquamarine. And then, um, I'll do three in the, uh, Nova Color, the iridescent pearl. I also have this little thing of my stir sticks and paint brushes and straws and the, um, wooden pieces for tightening the canvas and some sponges and some you know, odds and ends. So if the first swipe with this paintbrush doesn't go well, um, I have some other tools I can play with a little bit so that I don't end up with um, something I don't like at the end. Hopefully I can, hopefully if the, if the first swipe doesn't go so well, I can um, still have a good outcome if I play with it a little bit. Where is my water? Here it is. I'm going to add a little bit more water to this. It's a little thicker than I like it. So, it's still a little thick. I need to get some plastic, some little plastic mixing cups, like the shot glass size. Um, these Dixie cups don't hold up real well. And if I have paint left over, I want to save it, especially these colors are so pretty. Um, but the Dixie cup, or the, these little, I guess they are Dixie cups, um, you know, they don't, they don't hold up real well, so, especially with the silicone in it, I've noticed. So I'll have to transfer the paint if I have any left over into a plastic container. Um, I think there's one other thing I was going to say, but I don't remember, so... We will just carry on. Okay, so I have the least amount of this ice blue. 
Okay, I think what I'm going to do is do these edges a little bit down here. Just a little bit. See if I want to do this stripe. I didn't think this out real well. I might do a diagonal. Ooh, I smell a silicone. Okay. Let's do kind of like this. And then I'm going to put the teal next. I think I have plenty of paint. I did the art resin calculator and I have way more than what it said, so it should be good. I think it said one ounce for this size. Well, I mixed way more than an ounce, so just a little bit down here. Okay. Sure, we get the edges here. Let's fill that in. Okay, I have a little bit of white, just a hair bit left. If I need to do anything with it, um, let's get down here. Just a hair bit of this on the edge. I think after this one, I'm going to have to ban myself from blue for a while again. I had to do that once before, and I came up with some really pretty color combinations. Um, because I, I always seem to fall back on blue. So, um, I think I may have to do that again. Oh, oh, so, oh my gosh, sorry guys. There's a moth. I'm going to have to get rid of him, though, before he... Hang on a second, guys. I don't want him to get up and land in my painting later. Um, I'm just going to move him over there. <laughs> I didn't kill him. I just moved him. But he really scared me. <laughs> I saw something moving and did not know what it was. I thought maybe it was a spider or a beetle or something. Now that my heart's going and I am wide awake... <laughs> Goodness. I live in Oklahoma. I'm from Ohio. I live in Oklahoma now. My husband or yeah, my husband was doing some um landscaping and um saw a tarantula, little tiny tarantula, it wasn't full grown, in our flower bed and you know, like, did you really need to tell me that? I don't think you did really need to tell me that. I don't like spiders. He doesn't either, though, so he's just sharing his fear. Okay, enough about spiders. Okay, here we go. The only problem, I will say, <laughs> say this as I swipe. Oh, I'm going to move this so I don't spill it on my swiping. Um, with the paintbrush, unlike, you know, like a plastic swiping tool, um, other than wiping it on a rag I have here, I have no way to get it perfectly clean to do a second swipe. So um, that's the one problem I saw with using a paintbrush. I do have a second one here that I can use <clears throat> if I really want to on my second um, swipe. So we'll see how the first one goes. Ooh, that's kind of pretty, isn't it? It barely moved it through, but it created this stripey kind of thing. Okay, I'm going to use the other side, because I don't think I want to get green in here. Um, I'm going to use the other side, and I might press a little bit harder. I was really, really gentle, um, because I didn't uh, know what was going to happen. So I'm going to press just a hair bit harder, and I about did the wrong side. Oh, that's pretty. 
I lost all of my blue though, my ice blue. Okay, I'm gonna, um, do I have any more? Yes, I do. Add just a little bit here. What I might do is do a second swipe. See what happens. Oh, that's pretty. Okay, let's see. Let me, I have some mixed media paper just sitting here from, um, I don't know what I was doing with it the other day, testing paint colors. Um, you know what? I'm going to go with this, this, um, other paintbrush. I'm going to do a real gentle one this time. No, I'm just losing that. And that time I lost my Where's my um, white? I'm going to add a little bit more white here and swipe again so that I get more of that look again. Try a little bit of blue up here. Let's see if I can keep a little bit more of it this way. Oh, though that's really pretty right here. Um, it's, it's coming out a little bit. Okay. What do I have? All right, this side is good. Okay, ready? That is really pretty. I think I'm gonna tilt it just a hair bit. Um, this way. Actually, I think I'm going to torch and just see what pops up. I don't really like this harsh line right here, but, um, I think. All right. I'm going for bait brush number three. I'm going to swipe, add just a little bit of white here and swipe that way. See if I can get rid of that harsh line. Paint brush number three. Pick up some white on the, oh, that might be a good idea. I'm going to pick up some of this pearl white on the paintbrush. There we go. I still have that harsh line. Hmm. That's okay. So let's. There we go. That's kind of cool. Okay. Let's do. Okay, let's torch. See what kind of details we can get, and then I might tilt a little bit. Yeah, there we go. I might have dried it a little bit. I don't have a skin, but that Nova color, when I just use it, I have less working time. Um, I've noticed. But let me put the glove on real fast and then I'm just gonna tilt it real quick and, and call it done because it's it's beautiful the way it is, but I just I don't know why I'm gonna tilt, but I am. Because I'm not ready to be done painting. That's probably the real honest answer. I'm not ready to be done painting. One quickie this way. I must have had less paint on this side than I did on that side because when I did that, this side moved and this side did not. So when I swiped with this one, I must have had a harder 
swipe or the paintbrush. This one's a this one's a lot more stiff than this one, so it must have pulled more paint off. I do have a lot more paint over here um, on the. Um, the shower curtain that I do over here so it must have swiped more off so this one's still getting some movement while this side is not um, I am going to go just real quick because I really like this look so I'm going to try I know I said I was done but I kind of like this so I'm going to go let's see where do I want to go like right here Gentle. Yeah, this side definitely has more paint on it. Um, than the other side, than this. So that other paintbrush just pulled more paint off. Okay, I'm good with that. Um, I'll give you a close-up, and then I think I'll wait to um, publish this until I can get a little bit of it um, or to get it dry to see make sure it dries the same because this does have quite a bit of paint I'm gonna add a little bit more right here just because I can see the canvas pull that this way okay it just it did it just this um, so that was interesting so I guess it just depends on the paintbrush this one is really flimsy, not flimsy, that's not the right word, um, somebody knows the word, and I can't think of it, um, really flexible, this one's a lot more stiff, and it's thicker, so this one pulled a lot more paint off than this one, um, I like the effect that it did, though, on that side, so I'm not sure that's a bad thing, it just left less up here, so um, that's okay, because I went in and I, I will probably use a little bit of a paintbrush here, do, 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 do. and just, oops, I almost dropped the paintbrush in the painting, that would have been bad, okay, and just brush it on right here, because it, there we go, I can still see the canvas, so I pulled it, pulled it off at the top, almost down to the canvas, um, this smaller one did, so, um, I guess it just depends on your paintbrush, but overall I think it was a success. It looks pretty cool, so, um, cool. So, paintbrush swipe, and I'm done. I like to paint for longer, but that's it. So, happy pouring, guys. Um, like and subscribe. Let me know if there's anything you want to see me do or not do, um, and I will see you next time. Okay, I'm back because I didn't do what I said I was going to do and give you a close-up of the details. So there you go. I'm, I'm zoomed in. Here we go. There we go. Okay, and if you can see, there's quite a bit on this side that went off of the canvas compared to that side. So, But overall, it's very, very pretty. So I will come back when it is dry and show you guys the finished result. Okay guys, here it is, dry. You can see the pearl in the um, white, the pearl red um, really popping out now that it's dry right there, especially where it's really thin, just kind of gliding over those other colors. So, um, right here, I'll show you that, is that hard line see if I can get a good angle on it. There we go. Um, I think it's the canvas showing through with where that pearl is really transparent. So I think I might put a resin coat on this one. I'll, I'll use a paintbrush and paint over that a little bit more with the pearl and then maybe do a resin coat um, over it to kind of hide that part a little bit. We'll see though. But um, anyway, I just wanted to show you the, the dried result. That pearl just really pops. Yeah, some really good details in it. So thanks guys. Happy pouring.